one day one of my guys told me that his daddy sent him my video and, and his daddy did not know that he knew me but wow. his daddy sent it to wow. him right my schoolmate one time has told me that my his sister was talking about me and then his sister was talking about and him he just came to us and he saw that ah it was me they were talking about okay oh this is your first time watching this channel subscribe and hit the bell icon so on today's video, I came across Mo Sharif on TikTok. Are you sure? Was TikTok? <laughs> yeah, it was TikTok. Okay. So I came across you on someone else. What was the TikTok. first video you saw? The first video I saw was you talking about talking with uh, Tofumi on. Mm. Um, I forgot what you guys. Okay. But when I saw you guys, mm -hmm. I was like, "Wow, these guys are actually good." So I was like, "Let's create something." Let's create something. Yeah. So uh, today, today, um, today video will be like a Q and A. All right. And I'll be asking you some in-depth questions, yeah. you know, that can help people out there. So the All right, let's get I'll, it. The first question I'll be asking you is, uh, at what age were you self-aware? Ah, that question is deep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> at deep what bro? age was I self-aware? Yes. From birth to like death. I don't think there's an age where someone gets self-aware. I mean, self-aware in the sense that is it you're making... getting a direction in life. Like, this is what I want to do. The more my brain started working, I, I got okay. So let me let me try to why why I said it's different is because like the more hey God I beg show show video we saw a fine girl show video hi ah leave her alone no oh. hashtag full hashtag full hashtag full ah. yeah I'm not supposed to look at ladies now at what age did I get self aware yeah. so it depends on what you mean by self awareness like. Is it for my videos or just generally in life? Self-awareness that discovering who you are and where you like where you're headed to in life. That's what I'm saying. There's no age. It is a forever thing. Okay. Like it happened yesterday. It happened last two years. And everything I'm always discovering new things about how I want to show up in life. Do you understand? So if I give you an answer, someone watching will start thinking, "Oh, around right. this age, I'm I'm late or I'm earlier." No, life will give you opportunities every single day for you to know yourself more if you listen to that inner part of you that inspiration that pops in your head that idea that comes so like just do what feels right to you at the moment the more you keep doing it the more possibilities for you to be more self-aware about the things you like and things you want to do things you want to have and things you want to become that's why i see it so yeah all right so the second question is um by virtue of who you are and what you do yes are there people that label you as proud Ah, no more, no more. Even should we wait for this or we should continue? Uh, let's wait a bit. Yeah. So, okay. um, even before who I am and what I do, people have considered me proud. So I why mean, do you think that. Why? Yeah, now. Why do you think of that? Like, there's some people that just look at you and you think you're proud. Like, if you are fine, I think I'm fine. I don't know. But then, if you are that, you think you're proud. If you have some sort of money, you think you're that. If you did well in academics, you think you're that. Like. You just living your life and having some sort of success in what you are doing. People will naturally just think you are proud. So in secondary school, some people thought I was proud because I was doing well in spelling competitions. In junior secondary school, some people thought I was proud because I was doing well in my academics. In Arabic school, before I entered secondary school, some people thought I was proud because I was killing it in Quran. Mm. And right now, people are thinking I'm proud because I'm doing well in my um, content. content and video. So um, people thinking about me doesn't necessarily matter because they really do not know me and most people that know me would not actually call me proud. proud and i mean is it really bad to be proud though i mean prideful is bad that's when you are kind of showed up in a in a way that it hurts other people yeah. but if you're confident bad. about what you are about what you do hmm but it's okay to be proud the only people that will feel you are proud are people that are not confident are people that don't believe yeah, in themselves it does, it does people, yeah system. but if messi and ronaldo are in the same moment messi will not think ronaldo is proud oh, and ronaldo yeah, will not yeah. think messi is proud because ronaldo is balling messi is balling and your balling don't stop my balling exactly. that kind of thing so yeah that's why i say it okay so do you think do you think mm. someone's sleep pattern affects how successful the person can be someone sleep, sleep pattern. pattern yes yes fact like how little you sleep or how long yes you sleep. fact the okay. effect uh, why do you think so right because i've been reading books and science also proves it sleep is not a choice 
sleep is important. You know, there are many motivational speakers pushing this analogy. I, I think I had Steve Harvey say that one time sleep. that I'll sleep when I'm dead. That <laughs> um, no rest for how do you see that Come thing? On, you you no, will die. <laughs> yes, when when I'm dead, I'm going to sleep enough. Like no rest while I'm alive. It's all work. I like fact, but it's actually the other way around. You will die if you do not sleep. Sleep is important. Sleep has a direct yeah. factor towards how your brain works. Sleep has a direct factor towards how you breathe. Sleep has a direct factor how you show up in life. If you do not sleep well, you're not going to, when you are like so to me it's not and there's average some people say sleep eight hours, some people say ten hours, six hours. I mean some days I sleep fifteen hours. Because <laughs> I don't have anything I'm done. Some days I sleep six hours. That's not the point. Try to be in the middle. But what I'm saying is it's not even about what you do. Um, it's not even about how many times you sleep or how many hours. It's what you do while you're awake. Exactly. Yeah, it's, that, it. it's what you do while you're awake. So like, sleep does matter. Cause when you are awake, you need to perform at your best. And your brain cannot work very well. Your eye cannot work very well. Your body cannot work very well if you don't give it rest. It's like working out. If you keep carrying um, weight every time, weight every time, weight every time, you will die. Because the growth is not in you carrying the weight the growth is when you carry the weight it tears your muscle and then you go home and you rest for two days yes. when that muscle tears that muscle grows back up and that's when the muscle that's when the it shows outside that you have bigger muscle mm-hmm. and like the same thing for money too you invest your money it doesn't come out immediately it gives you some time for it to come down go up and that's when your money multiplies same thing about life too you need to actually rest for you to show up better so sleep matters yeah so, um, like you said, you said it's not it's not about how little you sleep. <laughs> what matters is what, what you, you do, do while you're, you're awake. awake. Yeah, how you maximizing so, that time? So next, because someone can actually sleep three hours mm-hmm. a day and be less productive than, than and someone the, that and the many twenty one hours is useless. He's not doing anything. Yes. So it don't it don't matter what you do while you're awake, it my guy. Matters. So next question: What are those flattering things mm. that have happened to you? Mm. By because of why I do yes yeah so um one day I went to the meet to the beach right and there was this mother that stopped me I was like are you Moshe? I was like yeah she said be watch I'm like uh-huh. why will mother be watching me that one is even just <laughs> weird then I went to continue playing ball on the beach as, as, then I was done playing but as I was going back she now said are you going because I was going to go and meet my family she said yes she now said want to make videos with you I'm like why will a mother like is this woman all right then the next thing is her daughters came yeah, around so actually our daughters two of them they actually watch my video and sometimes they watch it with their mommy's phone that was flattering to me wow. that a mother would want her daughter to make videos with me that's one mm. another thing that is flattering to me is a mother one time has sent me and I'm mentioning this one I'm going to get to the other ones like from my YouTube but it makes sense when it's it's parents that are doing it this mm. time one day one of my guys told me that his daddy sent him my video and, and his daddy did not know that he knew me but wow. his daddy sent it wow. to him right my mm. schoolmates one time has told me that my his sister was talking about me mm. and then the sister was talking about and him he just came to us and he saw that ah it was me they were talking about wow. and it was not like i know i know this boy we both go to the same school his mom was asking how can you go to the same school with this boy you and you don't know this boy stop lying <laughs> so he now had to actually call me to say that okay see he showed picture like so then the mother was, so you went to school with this same boy and wow. you, you are like this it's so like those are some of the flat twin things and there are more flattering things yeah. like people telling me they were about to commit suicide they entered tiktok for the last time mm-hmm. they saw my video they entered my page they kept going they kept going and i helped them there are more flattering things like people saying i changed their life there are more flattering things like people telling me that it's because of me they started mm-hmm. doing something in their own path so so for so for me one of the fact one of the things like mm-hmm. that happened to me was seeing a seeing someone that is older than me mm-hmm. with over 20 years yeah telling me that I have his mentor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's weird, but yeah, it happens. It's, it happens. It so happens. I'm like, wow. You know, that moment, you just check my hands. Goosebumps. <laughs> I fuck with that. That happens. That happens. That happens. That happens. Or like, I like this babe, and I will just do my day. I don't, I don't get my go talk to her. Before I leave that place, she come and meet me. I'm like, I know you from Tik. Who's fucking cops <laughs> on my head? So wow. that's nice. And and w- before we go to the next question, what you said about someone older than you. It matters, cause like 
age doesn't necessarily matter. So before before I started making videos, I've always wanted to talk about things that are important to me that I wanted to speak about. But I always felt like I was too young to talk about mm -hmm. that. And that time I started around like 17 or 16. And like I'm like, who am I? How old am I? Who am I to actually come out to the world? I don't know anything about life. All I comment. And I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. But then something about funny about social media is just when you start thinking something is not worthy of you doing. The next day I went on social media, I saw a boy, 13 yeah. years old, King Na. He was doing exactly what I want to be doing and more. He was making videos, he had big people following him, wow. David was following him and he was he had a clothing line. So like I'm like, if this my excuse was over at that point. So that's what made me start and I realized that it doesn't even matter whether someone is older than you or someone is younger, like, age doesn't necessarily define maturity or smart. Okay. I can be smart about something. If I'm smart about that thing, then I'm older than that person just in that sphere. So yeah, it don't matter your age. If you believe you are finance, hey, not fine. I'm saying financial because <laughs> I've been reading so many well, books well, about well, finance. Yeah. And same thing with money. So if you're financially educated about money, whether somebody has more money than you yeah. or not, it don't matter. You are educated more than the person. And in sooner time, you have more money than him if you use your education in the right places. So yeah, yeah, right. so matters. Second to the last question. Mm -hmm. Where do you see yourself or who mm. and where will Mo Sheriff be in the next five to ten years? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. One thing I know is I'll be richer. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll be smarter. I'll be happier. Will you be married? Five to ten years. How old am I now? I'll be 20 soon. So, yeah, I should be married. Cause five to ten years? Yeah. I'm looking at 10 years. Okay, Before 10 years. 30, definitely, I'll definitely be married because I'm trying to keep my virginity for my wife because God told me to do so. And if I don't get married, these temptations will continue. And I, you know, I'm blowing. Girls will keep coming. I don't want to lose my virginity to somebody that is not my wife. So I think I'll be married. Okay. I mean, 30 years. Suppose don't marry now. Yeah, but basically, I could have said, um, I would have this amount of followers. I could have said um, I'll have this car. I could have said I will have this company. But then anything I'm going to say right now, it will be me somewhat underestimating myself. Because mm, yeah. I really don't know what I'm going to be doing. I feel I'll be doing so much more. I cannot imagine the things I'll be doing. But I just know that I'll be balling on a bigger scale. Yeah. I'll be happier and I'll be more connected to God. Yeah. So um, concerning um, um, what you said now, yeah. they, they say that people underestimate uh, yeah. what they can do in no sorry people overestimate what they, they can, can do, do in, in, a, in one year, year and overestimate what they can do in a decade yeah yeah so there is a so whole lot more like, that you can like do like i really can't see yeah, exactly yeah, can't see. by so now final question, balling, yeah so uh, final question what are those top five books you recommend for young people for young people five books i recommend for young people to generally generally yes. so i'm going to give you five books and read it according to the way i say you should because it help your life because it helped my life number one atomic habit Atomic habit to teach you about the science of habit formation and it matters because we are a product of our habits. The only reason I'm out here on this show is because I have grown an habit of me waking up every day and shooting videos in my house. Do you understand? The only reason I'm wearing this hoodie and it's my brand is because of I got into the habit of studying people that had brand. I'm like, I want someday wear my own clothes instead of wearing other. So like that's the first thing. Next thing you should read is Limitless. Limitless by Jim Quick. It teach you how to use your brain and teach you how to study. And why that is important is because first you need to have good habits. The next thing in that book you learn how to read and understand. Because most of us we read books and it's nice, but next two next two years you've forgotten about it, yeah. right? But then if you read Limitless, teach you how to read. Books. And when I read Limitless, I've gone back and read some other books, and now it's in my head. I can tell you everything in Richest Man in Babylon right now. Tell me the chapter. I can tell you all the seven laws. Mm -hmm. That's how mad it was. But I read that book before Limitless. I forgot about it. But now, she gets. So Atomic Habits 1, Limitless 2. Now, 3, I'm going to tell you Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson, yeah? Because Steve Jobs is a very great man. And I really, the only reason I'm mentioning that book to you is because of. I want you to fall in love with things like documentaries. I want you to fall in love with people like things like autobiographies. Because. The moment you start doing that, it will be nice. If you come to my YouTube right now, you, you are not going to see any comedy, anything. Go to my Netflix and see the last seven things I've watched. You are going to see Kanye West documentary. You will see Kevin Hart's documentary. Because I, le I like to study people that are smarter than me, that have achieved things. So Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson 3. Number four, Rich Dad Poor Dad. You need to understand money. Please, you need to understand money. It's 
see there are two spectrums of money some people think money is the root of all evil yes maybe it is but money is also like the root of all good too mm -hmm. Right, we would think uh, um, I need to have enough money to be happy. Some people think I'll be like broke. Some people think I know I'm broke and rich. Like all those dumb shit. Who say stupid shit? And the only reason why is because of you. Don't even know how money works. Most of us are really working for. So we reach that point that it will help you understand money. And the moment you understand money, you don't need to stress about it. Even if you are poor right now, you don't need to stress because you know how you are going to get the money. Yeah. And if you are rich, you know how to multiply it. So it doesn't matter whether you are rich now or you are poor. The most thing that bothers is, are you financially educated? If you understand how money works, you wouldn't bother about it. It would even be a driving factor. Now, what's the last book I recommend to you? Yeah, read Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, the reason, one of the reasons why I'm doing all these things right now is because I read Crush It. Crush It will make you realize how do you turn your passion into a purpose through social media how do you share the things that you like and things you are good at share it in social media and start gaining followers start getting closer to your goal so yeah those are the five books one atomic habits two limitless by jim quick three steve jobs four rich dad poor dad five crush it by guy by natural read those five books thank me later <laughs> <laughs> all right so guys thank you for coming coming where they come to <laughs> Thank you for watching this video guys. Thank guys, you so much. If you yeah. love this, subscribe to this channel. Also subscribe to this channel. I'm yeah. gonna link this yes, user channel down yeah. below. So please subscribe. Like this video if you love it and also drop what resonated with you Chew in the, the comments. Most, yeah. Drop yeah. it and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Peace out.